guys welcome to self-care sunday so first and foremost bear with me i am on the road traveling i'm currently in atlanta for the byob conference super excited about it however one monkey don't stop no show <laughs> so self-care sunday is still happening and so will motivational monday and thoughtful thursday and i wanted to talk to you guys about something that i learned on my way to atlanta and it's something that i you like you know but sometimes you have to like learn it learn it in order to like really get it and that is around the subject of you're either going to trust god or you're not point blank period so when i was on my way um i knew i was running a little like I was pushing my time and I was like all right cool so I get to the parking garage uh probably about an hour yeah about an hour before my flight however the shuttle took about like 30 minutes to get to the airport lesson learned don't ever park at the first stop if you're running behind like it's gonna be great when I go home but I literally had to go to each and every stop and I was just like like, are we ever going to get to the airport? The answer was no. We were not going to get to the airport in time. So I go to the kiosk to check in, and they were like, "Air, you got to see a customer service agent. So I go see a customer service agent, and she's like, nah, you got to be here 30 minutes early. before You got to check in 30 minutes before your flight. So I was like, ugh. But here's the crazy part. While I was sitting on the bus, I literally said to God, I was like, God, I trust you. What I meant was, God, I trust you to get me to the airport in time. What I learned was trusting God means trusting him even when it doesn't go how you had in mind, even when it doesn't look like how you want it to look like. Trusting God means regardless of the outcome, I know I'm going to be okay. That's what trusting God is. And so not even going to lie, I had a whole meltdown in the airport um, but sometimes you just need to cry it out. And it wasn't necessarily the flight. It was, there's so much already going on. I have a lot on my plate. I'm already overwhelmed and tired and stressed. And the, the not so funny moment was i had recently been feeling like I don't have the time that I want to dedicate to everything. Like I'm busting my ass to get things done and it's still sometimes not enough. And as I was sitting in the airport with uh, two hours to wait for the first flight, I had two flights instead of one because my original flight was a nonstop. So then I also um, had, you know, like a layover, hour layover. And he was, God really put it on my heart. He was like, you said you didn't have time. Now you have time. And I was just like, all right. <laughs> Guess I have time now. I mean, I really did have a pretty productive day um, during my travel, and I got a good bit of work done. So it really, the overall lesson was you're either going to trust him or you're not. And trusting him does not mean treating him like a genie. That does not mean he's going to do what I ask of him. Trusting God means whatever he chooses to do, it's going to be okay. So... First and foremost, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. According to YouTube, 66% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Like, why guys? If you like the video, subscribe. Why not? Just click the little subscribe button. Secondly, I do want to hear in the comments, like, what are some tough lessons that you've had to learn with regards to trusting God? For me, the lesson is every time I say I trust you, it always comes with the test like always so what are some times where you've uh, had to trust god put them in the comments thanks guys